Okay. I can see by the timer that I'm actually shooting video and I need to pay a little more attention. Let me try to explain. Yesterday, the family and I went on a semi-epic road trip um, to a place called Rainbow Valley. Essentially, it's a huge uh, river basin and there's two old towns. It, it took three and a half hours to get to uh, the first location that I wanted to film. And I'll explain why I didn't film anything. I must have been having a stroke or something because I don't know how many times I went and shot a video and I checked and I took a picture. I inadvertently, inadvertently pushed the button too many times or something and I went completely off the reservation and would walk around for 15 minutes pointing things out. Look at this, look at that. Hey, look at that, isn't that cool? Only to find out that I just took a picture. Didn't shoot any video at all. It happened at least three times. And the last time that it happened was at the place that we spent most of the day getting to. And it was a historical location. It had, it had uh, significance to the area. And I didn't get anything but a picture of the side of my Jeep. Which should tell you two things. You don't need to be incredibly smart to be uh, a YouTube creator. And secondly, you should really pay attention. You don't have to pay much. You just have to pay attention. So I, I didn't get either one of the locations that I wanted to film. But I did get some pretty awesome video of a very beautiful place that you don't even need an off-road vehicle to, to go see it. And it's way off the beaten path. Not too many people go out there. Uh, because of all this COVID nonsense, people are starting to say, you know, screw it. I'm not going to sit at home anymore. I'm going to go out and ride my side-by-side -side or go camping. And there are a lot of people doing that out here. At, at the time of this recording, I'm making plans to go out and, and to film an abandoned mining town in the area. And since I'm going that far out anyway, I figured I'd just I'd drive the extra 45 minutes and go back and film the location that I didn't film this time. But the next time I go out there, I'm going to make damn sure that I got the footage. I apologize if this is not that exciting of a video, not that any of mine are. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, could you please do me a huge favor and smash that like button? I would really appreciate that. Thanks. Enjoy Rainbow Canyon. It's a very pretty place. Rain, a little bit of rain happening. We're coming, going on a little road trip today. Uh, up towards Mesquite and we're coming across the hump from Pahrump and there's a uh, a recreational area down here it's called the late night trailhead and there's a bunch of bike trails and stuff and, and there's off-road trails up there but they have the the, the uh, parking area there's a vault toilet right over there yeah, the parking area closed off. It's Saturday, and this is what happens when you tell people they can't leave their house. A free people say, oh, fuck you. <laughs> and they go, and they go bike riding anyway. And although this is a popular place to go bike riding, I've never seen this many people here at this trailhead on a Saturday morning. Ever. So we're doing what most people are doing and we're saying you and we're gonna go do what we want anyway because we're free. We're free people. We're taking the proper precautions. And uh, the reality is if this weather keeps up we won't we'll be going all the way over there, but it looks like it's sunny. <laughs> <laughs> if the weather's like this, we're gonna go home. So I am stepping into the corner here because it's a little breezy outside and I can't find my microphone. So I apologize for the wind noise. Today's probably going to be a pretty short video. We'll see. We, uh, we drove back from Gold Butte the other day. Drove by exit 100, which is the exit for Elgin and Carp. Well, I've lived here now for 15 years. 
I've seen that exit countless times and I've always wondered why Elgin and Carp got their own exit and what is so special about Elgin and Carp? Well, Elgin and Carp are both abandoned, pretty much abandoned ghost towns. Uh, they're all railroad towns from the you know late 1800s, early 1900s. And um, this is primary, all this property out here now is um, BLM land and, you know, ranchers use it to graze cattle. <laughs> I didn't take any footage on the road in off the highway. It's probably 25 or 30 miles in off the off the highway to this county road. And we went down towards Carp. There was a site that I wanted to go explore. But unfortunately, the weather is not great. There's rain blowing in. And um, the road going into this old ranch crosses a creek. And uh, the culvert clogged and the, the road washed out. So you, it's like a eighth of a mile you got first of all you got to cross the creek and we didn't bring any extra footwear and i didn't want to run the risk of getting over there spending an hour dinking around over at that ranch exploring that site and and then um having the water raise in the creek and getting that be able to get back out so we're driving towards elgin there is a historical spot in elgin i wanted to show you uh other, other than that there's nothing in carp we were driving down the road, we came across these two concrete buildings. Now, if I were to venture a guess, I would say they were probably built sometime in the 20s. Rough sawn lumber. Old ass double hung windows, and these are four, four feet wide, five feet tall. Five and a half feet tall, I stand corrected. We got this building here. And you got that building over there. So many flowers. It's so pretty. Even look at these little babies' breath. Huh? So pretty. Look how green it is. All the wildflowers growing up in the hills. You probably can't see that on this cheap ass camera, but let's check this thing out. Don't know. This looks like it might have been like a I don't know. Well, like there's plumbing hot and cold water this may have been like a I don't know. well this was a kitchen you can see the cutout for the sink so there was a there was a kitchen here these buildings were built in a wash and obviously the the water you know the waters have risen in the past 70 years and A little bit flooded. Looks like I had a peaked roof on it. Chimney for the stove. Ugh. Pantry. It's like a drive through garage. And a couple of bedrooms. cistern interesting glad the kids didn't find that there was a shed or something out here is the chimney on this side you can see here the uh, embedded 
uh, nailers for the flooring. So they had something to nail the the uh, soup the uh, the framing to, and then had the plywood floor in it. So the top of this right here would have been floor height. There's a chimney. There's a chimney. See the flooring in here. And there's a there's a wall missing here. There's another room that came out. Might have been just framed, or it might have been. That was probably concrete. So there's another wall that went over here. Another one over here. So you saw that nut. You come over here and check it out. But now we're gonna head up to Elgin, and we'll stop if there's anything of any interest, and I'll record it for you. So, and include it in this video, how about that? She just couldn't contain herself. You can't see way up there. There's a couple of Jeeps up there coming down the hill. <sighs> well, look at this valley. It's right down there is where the schoolhouse is. You can't see it because it's obscured by this. 
But across the way is, oh, I just heard a turkey. Gobble, 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 gobble. Across the way there's an orchard and there's there's a house back there and they got their own little pond. Man, I would love to live out here. This is beautiful. And we came up through, this is called Rainbow Canyon, I believe. Came through that and it's just so lush. It is exactly the opposite of what you would consider desert, you know? Lush and green. Sounds like somebody fired up a rotor tiller. <laughs> I know it's probably a pretty boring video for you, but I just love getting out places like this. Welcome to Caliente. Well, that was interesting. I want to make that trip again one day soon. But uh, thanks so much for coming along with me. If you haven't done so yet, I'd like to invite you this time to click the subscribe button and the little bell icon that's right next to it. That way YouTube will let me know the next time I upload a video. If you like this video, do you mind clicking the like button and sharing with your vast social media network? That certainly would help the channel. Check the links in the description for ways you can support this channel if you feel so inclined. Until next time, you have fun, stay safe, shoot straight, keep your powder dry, have a splendid day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> see ya.